Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Duncanville, Texas, with the frauditor known as Texas Gal Audits, as she does a revisit to a post office there, and, uh, well, bites off more than she can chew with her, uh, well, uh, award-winning personality and everything like that, and gets herself trespassed and arrested for her troubles. And hell, she even thinks that she has the power to grant qualified immunity or take it away from the officers. I mean, she's just that damn high and mighty at this point. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey y'all, Texas Gal is here doing a revisit at the Duncanville Post Office. It is raining right now in Texas, so we're going to try to hop right in here and get into it. We're going to find our poster seven. Yeah, and I'm sure you're going to do your usual spiel about uh, cherry picking a poster seven and all that. I mean, that's just tired old BS. I mean, it just shows uh, how well you frauditors have a limited reading ability. And start recording. So, rules and regulations. And we got the recording procedures. Well, I was wrong. Uh, you didn't actually read it to your audience and uh, cherry pick it. You didn't read it at all. So, you're trying to cover your bases that way by... Uh, well, just being flat out ignorant of them. Boring. Ma'am, can you please stop recording? It's no, ma'am. Just don't worry. No, ma'am. Okay, oh, you learned your lesson from last time. You got educated. I think it's you that needs to be educated on how to behave as a normal human being. I mean, uh, are you able to hold a job with this kind of snotty attitude, lady? I mean, I would like to know that. So last time I was in here, she said I could not point my camera this direction for transactions. Apparently she learned I can point my camera whichever way I want. Yeah, pushing your luck as far as it'll go. Well, uh, I'll tell you something. There's only so far you can push people before they push back. And, uh, well, you're about to find out the hard way. It's so crazy to film in public and exercise your First Amendment right. It's just so crazy to be an American and to appreciate our Constitution. Just crazy. Oh, Family <laughs> Feud says. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Yeah. You're not gonna I'm just recording just to make sure that they're doing their job. I'm not recording the whole back here. I mean, if you get in the camera, it is not my my expectation here. You're not recording the public? Uh, that's all you've been doing since you've been here, you dumbass. I mean, you're recording the public, you're recording all the transactions, and uh, it's about to cost you. So let's just go ahead and skip on to the part when the uh, officers arrive. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey, how's it going? Great, how's it going, sir? What's going on today? Are you federal, please? I'm pleased. I was called by them. What's okay. Well, do you have a contract with the post office to be in here with the arm? Yeah. Looks like you were about to try the uh, 
Oh, the post, only the postal police can do anything in here argument, which is a pretty piss poor flawed argument to begin with, because if you look at the enforcement clause of poster 7, it says security force personnel will exercise the powers under 18 U.S.C. Uh, 3061 C2 and are responsible for enforcing the regulations in this notice in a manner that will protect U.S. Postal Service property, postmasters, or installation heads may, with the approval of the police postal inspector or designee, enter into an agreement with state and local law enforcement agencies to ensure enforcement of the regulations in a manner that will protect U.S. Uh, Postal Service property, postal inspectors, office inspector general agents, and anyone designated by the postal inspector may also enforce these regulations. So, in other words, uh, that piss poor argument that you probably were going to try would have been, well, not really valid in this case because, well, the police can enforce the regulations in the post office, you dumbass. So you might want to rethink that strategy should you try it. Good. Okay, great. I'm just here to make a purchase. Um, because I have the right to, the First Amendment, a press. Okay, cool. That's it. What's your name and batch number? It's right here. Okay, but right here is not your name. Okay. So what is your name? Okay. Do you want to give her business? Okay. Uh, they don't have the option. This is a, no, no, this is not a Walmart. You can still be criminally trespassed from For what reason? Only. Well, but it has to be, no, it does. Okay. It does. So do are you trying? Hey, stop. We can do this real easy. Right. Or we can make this real hard on yourself. No. Don't make me take away your qualified immunity. Did you just hear what she said? She said, don't make me take away your qualified immunity. Uh, let me tell you something, Frauditor. You don't have that power. The judges have that power, you dits. I mean, come on now. You think you're hot stuff because you uh, claim to be a First Amendment auditor? Uh, let me tell you something about auditors. They have no true power. They're nothing but a bunch of bullies. And, uh, well, I hate to use the term in this manner, but it's more applicable to you guys because you are nothing but a bunch of tyrants who want your boots to be licked by the general public. Okay. Okay, no. It said, don't make me... Don't make me take away your qualified immunity. Sir, don't grab me. Don't touch me. You don't have the right. They want you gone. If you don't leave, they I'm don't have the right to you. tell me to go because I'm not doing anything illegal. If you don't leave, I'm get your supervisor. To I want to speak to your manager. I've seen you trespass from several other post offices, and you're still saying this BS? Uh, you do know that in Texas law, uh, you can be trespassed from any property, even if you haven't committed a crime, because if you are being a nuisance, you're most likely about to do something like that. So it's preventative, you dumbass. I'm the supervisor. Your, I'm the supervisor. Get your lieutenant. He's not here today. Well, there's someone on the clock. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Here, take your here to make a purchase at a public building and getting trespassed. So everybody call the Duncanville police and let them know I'm being trespassed for no reason. Oh, you're recording your other crimes now too, huh? You are trying to get your uh, subscribers to call flood the place and shut the police department down so they can't do anything about you, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's something they can add to your list of charges later on. Uh, maybe you should do the smart thing and not film any of this, or at least make it look like that you're not, uh, trying to influence your audience to do something, uh, uh nefarious like that, you dumbass. Maybe go around, okay? He obviously doesn't understand how trespass works in public buildings. Okay, just sit right here. 45, Yakita. 
So everybody call the Duncanville Police Station in Texas. You just uh, rearrange that for yourself? Thank you. I'm not going to attack nobody. Can I get you to step at the end of the No, sir. No, ma'am. I, I am in my free are space. You, are you waiting? No, you're not. Can I get you get to out of line. Right in front Come talk to me. She's holding up the I'm, line. I will I'm, talk I'm to you talk. right here. Okay, but this is on. where I will talk to you. I'll stand out of their line, but I'll talk cool. to you right here. Okay, great. And this is Miss Tracy. You all remember her. I don't know what was going on, but I was going to use my handheld. Hey Manning, are you good? So anyways, he's going to sit here and act like he's going to play on his walkie-talkie. Yeah, go, go in private if you want to have a private conversation. Man, there's other emergency issues going on in the city. Then, then go handle those. No, I didn't ask I'm you to stop here. here. Okay, then handle that. If you need to stay here, then stay here. If you don't, then go. Go handle the things you need to go handle. I'm handling it. Then don't ask me what to handle or not handle. So tell me what legal reason you have to trespass me from a public building. They don't want you here. That is not a legal reason. I am press. I am press. I am in a government building doing the news. Yet another confirmation that these frauditors seem to think that uh, being a member of the press grants special rights and privileges. Well, no, it does not. It doesn't mean you're special. It doesn't mean anything like that. You're just a total dumbass at this point for even uh, implying that. Do you have ID? So where do you get ID for press? Everyone is press. The freedom of press. They don't want you Sir, here. Sir, you're this not going to trespass me unless you okay, want your qualified... You want your, your qualified bed. immunity taken? That's fine. Okay, there. I'll hold this. This frauditor right here, Texas Gal Audits, is just another example of uh, how this idea of First Amendment auditing uh, has polluted our culture because these people actually think that they have more rights and privileges than anybody else. I mean, look at what she was saying, that she had the ability to uh, grant or take away qualified immunity from these officers, which basically means that they can be terminated or not terminated from their positions because of an uh, arrest or anything like that. No, that's what the judge determines. That's not your station right there. And that's just one example among many that can be brought out from this uh, particular encounter. So basically she thinks she's high and mighty and everything like that and ranks higher in the status of the United States than any one of the regular people in this country. And that is really pathetic. So at any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?